Well, everyone, the Google Pixel 6 just got Android 14, also the Pixel 6 Pro, even the Pixel 6a. So let's go and see how it holds up on these phones. Now, the funny thing is, on my Pixel 5, as soon as I went ahead and added a widget or wallpaper, it kept crashing. For the Pixel 6, it looks like it's perfectly fine, so I wonder why the Pixel 5 was happening. Now, another thing that I actually saw, first of all, the installation, everything went fine, so there was no bugs, no issues like that, which is always nice. I've been installing these betas for a few years now on every single Android phone that I have, and I haven't really had any boot loops or crashes or anything like that. So I used to get them, I think, back in like 2014 or 2015, but recently haven't had that issue. Now, if we click on About Phone, you can actually see if we go into our software version, I don't remember where this is, you can see that under Android version, we do get this little upside down cake little thing. Weirdly enough, it's not like a number. I kind of wish they'd go back to numbers because I was confused. I thought that I was still on Android 13, but that is not quite the case. We are on Android version upside down cake, so that is technically 14. And there are, even on this first beta, there are tons of different features. Now the first thing they mentioned is that fonts can actually go bigger. So that's something that's really cool. If you wanted to go ahead and mess with the fonts of your specific device, you can actually make this fonts a little bit bigger if you wanted to than before. So that's something cool. We always had the option of changing font sizes, but now they go a little bit bigger, which is honestly kind of nice to be honest. Now, another thing that's very interesting within Android 14 is the new notification flashes that we have. So if we go and make our way to settings and we click on notifications, we now have this little option, which will allow us to basically have these flash notifications. So what this basically does is that for one, we can go ahead and turn on our camera flash so this is kind of, you know, we've had this kind of even with Androids or like even with iPhones before. If you click preview, it'll just flash the camera over and over again. Okay, there we go. Now it's working. So it'll just flash this camera. I don't know if you can tell where the camera is like blinding me. However, with the screen flashing one, if you have this enabled, anytime you get a notification of something, if you click preview, it'll flash your screen yellow. I don't like that at all. I don't know who would want that on. The flashlight one I can kind of understand, but I will tell you with the other one, I don't even know who would want that at all. But it's a nice feature and I'm glad they have it. There's another thing with languages. So language overall has gotten improvements, which is kind of nice. So if you were using different you know, languages in your specific phone, other than English I prefer, other than English I assume, there should be some better customizations with those specific things, which is really nice. And they also add that regional preferences have been added. So there's a lot more, I guess, regional differences, which I like and sometimes I don't like, depending on if there's big features. They mentioned that sometimes in the EU, there can be features that need to be added legally, so they will add them there first and then slowly bring them over. I don't know if that's going to be the case here, but just know that within Android 14, there's going to be some changes there. And finally, Android Authority mentions that there's going to be some battery features and tweaks. Now, I went onto the battery feature in my Pixel 5 and I couldn't find anything. Under my Pixel 6, basically the same thing. I don't really see anything that stands out to me that this is like a new Android 14 feature. However, I will say that the battery life on a beta is always going to be worse than the official version. So this is not going to be something where I would you know, recommend people to go and update because you're going to run into lots of problems. Which brings me to my final point. I would not recommend installing an Android 14 beta just yet. I would highly recommend waiting until we get maybe some more official versions out there, until we get something like that. Also because you don't want to go and install a version of software that's still in a beta that could definitely have issues. And although I didn't run into any problems, and although this actually seems like a much more stable version of Android than even my Pixel 5 was yesterday, I still wouldn't recommend installing Android 14 yet. Stick with the official versions of Android 13, and hopefully within the next, probably the next six months or so, we should have an official version that is very solid. So, in terms of that, that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.